In this video, I'll show you how to get started with Titler Live in your worship live streams. For the tutorial, I'm working in Titler Live 5 Present, which is the most common version used in churches today. When you first run Titler Live, you'll see the main interface. As you can see, it's divided into several panels. Preview, your program monitor, the layers list, layer properties, and finally the library. We'll dive deeper into what each one is for in a bit. You should also know that the panels can be moved, resized, and even undocked so you can customize the layout to your liking. Panels can be enabled or disabled in the view menu. So first things first, we'll start to set up some graphics for our production. Let's look in the graphics library tab. I like to pin the library, which collapses it to the side. Then I can click to expand it when I'm looking for graphics, but it'll stay out of my way when I'm working in other areas. I'm going to navigate to the House of Worship collection. Inside, we'll find three folders, which each contain many graphics with a uniform look and feel. Ombre and Everlasting each contain graphics that work seamlessly with our ProPresenter and Easy Worship integrations. So I'll choose several graphics from Ombre for my production and simply drag and drop them into the layers list. Please see my videos on working with the ProPresenter and Easy Worship data controllers for detailed information on how to set up bi-directional remote control between applications and how to fully automate your live stream graphics. Links for those videos can be found in the description. Additionally, you can add other types of layers to the list, like images, video clips, or virtually any live video source, including NDI cameras. If you're working with PTZ cameras, you can remote control them directly from Titler Live and store or recall camera presets. Now finally, we'll need to specify how Titler Live is sending out the graphics. That is set from this drop-down box at the bottom of the program monitor. Most likely you'll be using NDI or HDMI. If I had an SDI output card installed on this system, there would also be an SDI option, which sends both key and fill channels for pre-keyed graphics. The NDI feed includes an alpha channel, so all transparent areas will be preserved. In the event you're working with HDMI, a second window will open. We can select our key color and double click to fill the screen. Double clicking will also collapse it again. In this workflow, I'd have one of my system's HDMI outputs connected to my switcher. Then I would drag this window to that display and maximize it. And finally, I would need to key out the background color using the switcher. So for the best quality graphics, I would recommend using NDI or SDI whenever possible. Now we're all set up and ready to go on air. Once it's time to play a particular graphic, I can send it live by clicking the play icon here. The graphic will hold on air indefinitely until I click the play button again to animate it out. Now you know the basics of setting up your live stream graphics in Titler Live. Don't forget to check out my videos on working with the ProPresenter and Easy Worship data controllers for more information on how to set up bi-directional remote control and how to fully automate your live stream graphics.